comes to my channel. Happy morning, mathematics. So, as we are heading into our quarter, we will be learning chapter 19, which is algebraic expressions and substitutions. So, in grade 6, second term, you might have already learned about algebraic symbols, but anyway, I am going to summarize that up as well in order to understand this lesson better. So, under this lesson, we will be learning about three important things. First one is algebraic symbol. Second one is algebraic expression. And the last one is substitute. So, before going to algebraic symbols, what are symbols? Now, oh, in day-to-day -day life, symbols are used in order to convey certain messages. For example, let's say if you go on a road, you might be able to see lots of signs, posts, conveying um, various messages to the people. For example, there is a pedestrian crossing, they might use a symbol for that, a sign for that. Likewise, Plus and minus are two arithmetic symbols. Am I right? Plus denotes you add something and this minus denotes you subtract something. So these are signs, symbols to convey certain messages. Likewise, algebraic symbols are used in order to illustrate an unknown number. That means, I'll give you an example for that. Now, this is a non-transparent bag in here. I have kept few blocks inside this bag. Now, you all don't know the number of blocks inside this bag. So, what can I do here is to denote the number of blocks. Number of blocks inside this bag. I'm going to use the algebraic symbol X. So you can use any alphabet letters from A to Z, but it must be simple letter. So you can use even A as a simple X. So these are called algebraic symbols. Defines an unknown number. So there are many examples. For example, if you are on page 6, let's say the number of mm, children in 10A class. You all might not know the number. So, you can define that with the algebraic symbol. So, that's it on the algebraic symbol. Now, let's move on to the second heading which is algebraic expressions. For that, I'm going to give, use the same example as I used before. So, I'm taking this bag again. So, there are already few blocks inside this bag. Am I right? I told you here these types of blocks are there inside the bag. To this bag, I'm adding one more block to it. So, what did I do? I added one more block. So, there are x number. Uh, now, here I'm using a, right? So, there are a number of blocks inside the bag. Now, I have added one more block to it. Now, you can denote it this as this way. This is called an algebraic expression. So, see A plus 1. So, now, again I am taking this bag and I have a number of uh, blocks in here. The previous amount of blocks in here. Now, I am going to take count few blocks. 1, 2 and 3. So, I took out three blocks from this bag. So, I can express that in this way. Am I right? A minus 3. Now, these two are known as algebraic expressions. Did you all understand it? So, with any algebraic symbol, 
If a mathematical operation takes its place, addition, it can be subtraction or anything that is known as algebraic expression. Now, let's move on to the third part. So, next is substitution. Now, I am going to take the same bag in here with the previous amount of blocks and I am going to count the number of blocks inside the bag. So, 1, 2, 3. No more blocks inside. So, we had 3 blocks inside the bag. So, now, A takes the value of 3. Am I right? Yeah. Earlier it was unknown. Now we counter. Now A gets the value of 3. Now we can substitute that among these two expressions. So let's substitute the value. A is equal to 3. Let's substitute it in the first algebraic expression A plus 1. So A becomes 3 plus 1. The answer is Let's do the same thing in the second A minus 3. A gets the value of 3 minus 3. The answer is 0. See, now when you get to know the value of an algebraic symbol, you will, in an expression, you will be able to find her arithmetic value to that expression. So, that's all under this lesson, chapter 19. So, we learn about symbols, algebraic symbols, about algebraic expressions, as well as substitution. Hope you all did understand the lesson. Now, you all will be able to do the exercises from the lesson 19.1 and 19.2. So, if you have any doubts in from that exercises, you can ask me in the comment section. Have a nice day, children. Bye.